All right, what's going on everyone? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all every single Hypebeast item that I copped in 2018. So basically everything that I bought in the year 2018 that, you know, had to do with streetwear, clothing, sneakers, anything like that. You know what I mean there. And I'm just gonna be presenting it all in this video. So it's sort of like a collection video, I guess, but um, you know, it's more just what I collected in 2018, which was basically most of what I have. So I just hope you all enjoy this video. It's gonna be a bigger video. It's gonna be a longer video, I'm sure. And if you guys think you'll enjoy it, you guys can subscribe below if you want more videos like this or another one next year. And you can also drop a like this video too. I really appreciate that. And you know, you also guys can go follow me down below in the description on Instagram and add me on Snapchat too if y'all want. That'll be all linked down below. I'm not gonna pop it up on the screen or anything. And uh, yeah, let's get started on this one. But we're gonna get started on the items on this side. So the first one I got is actually on top of this one. It's the LV wallet that I copped like a month or so back. You know, Louis Vuitton wallet, really good. I got it for like 99 bucks, which is solid and it's legit. And you know, it's my go-to wallet. I use it a lot. We don't really need to go over it too much more. It's a Lakers colorway though, cause it is, it's a, uh, you know, purple too. So, you know, purple and yellow, that sort of works. But we're done with this. But next up, this is also an item that I, I copped right with it. It's a Burberry uh, bag right here. It says Burberry on the shoulder strap and all around it has like a Burberry design on it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you know, there's like the back and then the front has the Burberry, uh, one of the logos on it. Um, you know, I don't really use it. I probably should use it more. I mean, it is like a shoulder bag sort of. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not like a huge fan of those. So I'm, I may use this in the future, but it may be a minute until I actually use it. So we're, you know, we're done with that. Next up, this is one that I use a lot. It's a hoodie. This is a pre TNF. Uh, this is the recent hoodie that they released. And, you know, it just has the expedition guy sitting there in all the gear. And, you know, that's another thing that he, you know, just, yeah, you know, another piece and one of my favorites. I mean, I wear it a lot and the basic design, you know, North Face look right there, Supreme logo right there, and then the guy. It's basic and it's my favorite colorway. Y'all want to meet my cat? He just came into my room, but here you go. It's my cat, Abby. I love Abby. There you go. She's going to be here in the video too. Um, but another piece we got is this one right here. This is way earlier in the year, like I think March, or no, this is over the summer. It's a palace uh, bag right here, just sort of a one I have. And you know, I don't I don't really use it, but it's a really good one that I just use in my closet as like a decoration. So you know, that's sort of cool. I'm just gonna set that there though. Sorry, Abby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Another one though, this one I copped a week ago. Favorite item in my collection. Maybe, I'm not too sure. But it's the Supreme Lacoste jacket from Spring Summer 17. This piece is nearly two years old and it will be very, very soon. But here you go, here's the design on it. It has a split sort of thing. It has the Lacoste alligator right here um, on the side, like right over here. And it has the tag on the inside, Lacoste on the back, and then also it has Supreme running all around this sleeve right here. I'll show you guys this. So look, Supreme, and um, it runs around the back too. So, you know, this is one of my favorite pieces. I'm a huge fan of like the red and white sort of split design here. And this is the reason it's one of my favorite pieces because it's not to mention, I think one of the best track jackets Supreme has released. It may be ever, that may be a huge statement, but I, I personally think it's one of the best ever. And also I recently got these from my friend Ian. Shout out my boy Ian. Um, he, we did a trade and you know, there was a really good trade. I think I was pretty happy with it. Got this polo pants, they're sort of like pajama pants. And you know, they're pretty comfortable, you know, they got the pillow logo running all down it and in the back, just basically running all around it. And you know, one of my favorite pants, I'm, I mean, I'm, I haven't worn them yet, but I've worn the other pair of pants to be traded too. So, you know, these are pretty sick, I'd say. And you know, I'm glad to have these because this is definitely something I'll be wearing. I don't know how often, but I'll be wearing it. Y'all see me in it. Don't that though. And we got this Cause Sesame Street tee, which he also traded me. Here it is, basically Elmo, and it's on the frocket right here, and he's like embroidered on, which by the way, shout out to Cause, and shout out to, uh, I think it's Uniqlo, yeah, Uniqlo, or no, yeah, Uniqlo, for actually embroidering, like, nobody embroiders anymore, really, and everyone just screen prints, and they actually embroidered, like, a frocket on, and there's nothing else on it other than that, but this tee's still pretty dope, it's like a, like a basic tee, you know, you can just wear out, and, you know, I like it, it's a good go-to tee. And if y'all thought we were done, we're not done with this section. We also got two more things here, you know, I copped another pair, of these uh, champion shorts, y'all may remember these. Um, you know, I we used to wear these all the time. I, you know, I'm getting a bit more variety in my pants, but these two. And we also got, I got these yesterday from my friend Ian too. These are way too comfortable. Like someone, someone did something here. Someone invented something. I don't even know what. These are the most comfortable sweatpants I've ever worn in my life. Uh, and just from like Amazon. So like, you know, this is just. These are great. I'm probably gonna be wearing these today. My other cat's also deciding to join us uh, mid video. Where, where is he? Here he is. This is my cat, Oscar. I love my cat. That's not how you really hold a cat, but you know, we're just gonna set him down here with my other cat. They may fight, I don't know, but 
that are starting to relaxing up. And he goes. And also, I made a video on these individually yesterday, but these are the Nike Cortez, as y'all may remember. These are fire. Again, I got them for 65 bucks. Probably one of my favorite, like, cheaper sneakers. You can get that looks sort of hype piece, even though it really isn't. And I'm I'm a huge fan of these sneakers. Definitely, like, one of my favorites I've ever copped. I've said that with a lot of pieces, because honestly, in 2018, I copped a lot of pieces that I was a huge fan of. And maybe some of them aren't the most hyped, but this is a really dope sneaker, and I'm super glad to have it. It's like, you know, leather material, and the inside you got the Nike, back from the Nike, and then on this uh, top parts right here, it says Cortez 7. Here, let me set this down. Right here, it says Cortez 72, and you know, I'm a huge fan of that because that's a year this sneaker came out. And it used to be, got my dad for this, he said this used to be like the top running shoe in the 70s. Like, this was like the premier running shoe for Nike. And I couldn't see myself running in these because let's be real, they're a bit, I'm not even gonna lie, they're a bit uncomfortable. But you know, I, I don't imagine running in these. Like, that would be hard to do. I couldn't even see it. But we are not done. We also have the Supreme Sig Traveler Water Bottle. Um, this is again one of my good pieces I think in my collection. I almost said favorite, but I really haven't used it once that much. But someone did tell me that also the only problem with this is that your water heats up very quickly and it's not very good with keeping your water cold, um, which I see that being a common issue. So you know, you know, warm water, maybe this is something you can go to with. So maybe it's not the best water bottle. But in terms of design, it's basic and you know, I like it. You know, the Supreme logo, it's cool. I like it. But we're gonna set that down there. And I mean, I don't really wear these at all. I haven't worn these, I don't think yet. Um, there's some really deep Gucci slides I got from Ian. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to just like get rid of these. So if anybody wants them, wants to offer some, you know, something for them down below, I'll, I'll sell them. I really don't want them. I don't need them. I'm not. Again, I'm not. I don't wear Gucci. I just don't mess with it. So I don't want these. So if someone wants them, let me know down below. I don't know, I'll sell them to you. I don't really care how much either. And we also got this. This is a free gift. This is a Supreme Bouncy Ball from Fall 18, the first week this season that just ended. We got this Bouncy Ball, and it was sort of a gift that came with it. Cool gift, and you know, personally one of my favorite gifts I've released because you know it actually resells pretty nicely. And this one, I this is a uh, spring summer 17 piece, I believe, or fall winter 17 piece, one or the other. But I did cop it in 2018, and this is the Supreme MC Escher T. Um, and you know, here we go. It's the long sleeve, so you got the eye, and then it's the Supreme, and then on the back it has the eye with the skull inside it too, right there. The tag on the front, and then down the side, you got the same logo running down there on the sleeve. And then on the other sleeve, I think the other sleeve, yeah, the other sleeve has nothing on it. It's just plain. But again, this is one of my favorite tees, too. Like, this is, one of my, this is a favorite long sleeve I own. I don't really own many long sleeves at all, but it's one of my favorites for sure. And this is another one of my favorite pieces. The Supreme, uh, I, don't, I don't remember the name for it, and yet it's one of my favorite pieces. But they have eight of these, and I'm trying to collect every single one. I'll eventually get to it, but basically it just has, you probably can't see, it probably just looks like a navy tee, but if you look closely, it's a Supreme, and it's like embroidery right there, there, and it's a Supreme embroidered right there, so it says Supreme New York embroidered on it. I had trouble holding that tee, but you know, again, one of my favorite pieces, there's a tag. Um, and I'm gonna set this one down though, because we got a lot of other pieces to discuss, and I'm not trying to make this too long, because y'all got day, your day to get to, you know, you got things to do. but. Another one of these is this utmost tee. I don't remember the name for it, and I apologize, but this is a dope tee. Um, and, you know, just solid design. I know it's collaborating with, like, a big artist, too. I cannot remember his name. If y'all could comment it below, I'd really appreciate it. But I just know that he makes some dope stuff, and this is usually, like, his design and stuff here. And it goes hard. This is certified hard by me. This piece is nice. Set it down, though. And we're not done. We still got a lot more to discuss. Next up, Supreme North Face Headband. I did cop this in 2018, but it is a, uh, I think a spring summer 17 piece, if I'm correct, or fall winter 17, one or the other. I just know it's not from like 2018, but here it is, you know, the headband, again, the design right there in the center and around it, it just says Supreme, the North Face, and yeah, you know, cool headband. I don't really wear headbands, but if I do wear a headband, this is the one I got. And not to mention, we also got this tee. Um, I caught this in 2018. It was the Don't Let the Dream Die tee. Um, MLK on it, as you see. This is 1963 to 2018. And you know, basically just saying, Don't Let the Dream Die. You all probably know what that stands for. And you know, yeah, it's a good tee. I love wearing it. And not to mention, it's pretty comfortable. I think it's one of the more comfortable Supreme tees. I mean, it's all made of the same material, but I don't know why, just this one is a bit different. And also, this is another one of my favorite pieces. I mean, I'm saying this is one of my favorite pieces almost every piece I'm discussing because I love my collection. I love everything about it, and I feel like all the pieces I have, I actually wear. That's super important. Um, and, you know, basically, you just got a 4x4 four four design, so 4 on the front, 4 on the back. You got a Supreme Box logo, too, on it. And it's one of my favorite tees, you know, I just mess with it. And each individual photo that's on the front and back is actually on a skate deck that the Supreme and Mike Kelly made. 
Um, so, you know, there's eight skate decks out there, so you all can collect all those, but this tee is, again, one of my favorites. Really good design from Supreme. And, you know, even though the Fall Runner 8 team wasn't great with designs, in my opinion, I feel like Supreme had a lot of hit or miss pieces, just a, but a lot of them being missed. That one was actually a hit piece, and, you know, it's underrated. But we are not done. We're not done at all. This is the off-white jacket I copped and during the summer. Um, it was on sale, obviously, because jackets are going to be on sale during the summer, and I'm glad that I was able to cop this on sale. It's basically just an off-white, you know, just off-white jacket. That's it. The sleeves are extra long for some reason, and the torso area is, like, super small. So this is, like, interesting to wear. Um, it's sort of hard to wear, too, because it's just smaller. But I've worn it plenty of times. I think I've worn it, like, like, five or six times, which is a good amount, because, you know, I've been wearing it more recently. And, you know, it's one of my favorite pieces. I think it's pretty solid. And, yeah, it's, like, $300, so, you know, good jacket, I think. It's a bit heavy, though, too. We're going to set that down there, though. And next up... One of my favorite pieces ever, Supreme Mona Lisa tee. Um, a lot of people saying I look like Mona Lisa on the tee, which is true. You know, I see it with like a nose and stuff like that. You know, you can't compare me to something like this. Like that, come on, that's too much. No, Mona Lisa's too good for me. But yeah, if you look at that, this tee is fire. And you know, it's underrated too. It goes for like 110. And I personally think this could go for a lot more. But like collaborating with Mona Lisa, like think about that. Like that's a pretty historic art piece. Like one of the most or the most. So like think about it. This is very underrated for, for the price of sales for it's like a hundred dollars and it's like i personally think worth like 200 300 easily next up though i guess we'll go with this one this is the raf 7 bag don't really need to go over it i haven't really used it but it's from my boy Ian too goes for like 180. solid bag one of my favorites not really one of my favorites but yeah i just don't touch my wrap you know what i mean and we also got this which i copped i think a month or so ago supreme umbrella um no i'm not going to open it inside nice try y'all but yeah you know just got the supreme box logo on it right there and basically around it, it says world famous, I believe, or yeah, it's the Supreme and world famous under it, like right there, but y'all probably can't see that. But you know, cool design. If it starts raining, then I'll break it out. And we also got this, well, I think it's probably like top five in my collection, one of my favorites. This is a Supreme split crew neck, a uh, split art crew neck to say. I think this goes for around $200, like cover retail is like 148. And again, I think this jacket is just one of my favorites personally. Um, and you know, it goes hard, I think. And you know, the arc logo is right there, all that. Um, and you know the inside material is very comfortable. It's like a not like felt, but it's very nice like fleece It's pretty comfortable. I'd say um, and you know, it's it is a bit big on me So I don't have to grow into it, but don't worry. I'm trusting my body. I'm gonna grow a bit more and you know This piece is solid. I mean a lot of people aren't vibing with like the navy and red and I get that But for me navy and red are my favorite colors. So I just sort of had to do it to them, You know what I mean? And next up this one I copped very early like I think in January of this year But y'all probably remember this piece the Supreme Damien Hirst box logo. So basically it's box logo on the front, a lot of colorways there. On the back, y'all can read that there. You know, it's from a Nas song, if y'all don't get it. It's a lyric from his, one of his songs. I think it's a chorus or like hook. But yeah, you know, really, this is this very valuable piece of me. It's my first box logo ever. So I'm gonna set this one down super carefully. And we also got the Supreme bottle cap tee. Um, I caught this one this year. I haven't really worn it because it's too small on me, but I'll sell it in the future now. I'm set on that. And we also got these. Just gonna mention these for a second. Probably from a prime Cameron. Five dollars. Some Kyrie. I think it's Kyrie five. I think. I, I don't know the model of Kyrie's, but I just know it's Kyrie. Five dollar cop. He didn't really want any more old basketball shoes. Yeah. Old. 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 And not to mention, we got the Supreme stamp right here. Um, I'm a huge fan of this, and you know it's a cool accessory to put in the closet. And, and you know, just yeah, there's like what it stamps on the top, and here it is. You know, it's a stamp, and it works. And I'm not gonna test it though. I've tested it before, but I'm not gonna test it right now. And we also got these, the Kith Slides. Um, Kith Chancletas, if you wanna say it in a different language. Right here, just really basic. Yeah, that's it, just Kith right there. And that's it, that's really it, it's basic. I mean, I can't explain too much on it, just the navy and white colorway and Kith is on it. And there, it's Kith Slides, boom. But we're not done. We also have Laser Ones. Um, these are beats. And shout out my sister. I love my sister, and this is not shade to her because I, I would do anything for my family. But my sister wore these to uh, a concert in Charlotte called Breakaway without me knowing. And these things have beat. They were already low key beat before. These things are extra beat now. Like the laces are literally sort of dirt color. Y'all may be able to tell. This is a super. Sorry, my, my camera cut off there because um, I've been recording for like 18 minutes straight. But yeah, you know, just it's dirt color now. They're super beat. Um, and you know, they're still reflective. I think this is just, this sneaker goes so hard. I love everything about it. Um, but y'all, y'all can probably see some of the dirt out of there. That's from the concert. I haven't even bothered to clean it off because I know even if I try cleaning these babies, 
We're still gonna leave my beaters. And we're about to get to the last piece. This one isn't really um, high piece either. I mean, the blazer ones are low key because the design is fire, but this one is just Air Force One. Don't really need to go over it. One of my favorite sneaker models of all time. It's got some dirt in the back and stuff like that, but this is really easy to clean off. And I just love everything about the Air Force One model. One of my earlier grails that isn't my grail anymore is the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. And not like the sale color, but ones that go for like 300. I'm talking about the OG ones that are starting to rise in value. I remember when I had the opportunity to cop the OG ones for $290 or something like that. It was like $290, $300. And now they go for $800. So that's just a $500 L I took right there. So now if I want them, I'm going to have to pay close to $1,000 for them, which I'm just, I'm not even that big of a Travis Scott fan to even do that. You know what I mean? So I'm probably not going to cop those. But that's the last piece. And here is my whole collection. All these pieces, whole collection that I collected in 2018. It's not my whole collection, but it's the majority of it. And it's just every high piece item that I copped in 2018. So if y'all did enjoy this video and want more videos like this, y'all can subscribe below, y'all can drop a like, and I appreciate all the love as usual. You know, if this video gets enough likes, then hey, maybe I'll give away some of my collection too. Uh, but that, um, what was I gonna say? The CDG Air Force One giveaway is going to be announced on New Year's, which is two days from now. So y'all look out for that. I'll be announcing it at midnight that night on the winner. I think I'll go live or something like that. Um, but I'll be announcing the winner. So just stay tuned for that. It's going to happen. And I just want to say thank y'all for this video. I appreciate the love and support as usual. And that's it. Peace out. Hey.